Hi everybody, I'm from BevCam, your local channel 10 here in Beverly, and uh, this is a pretty exciting day, I would say. Why don't you introduce yourselves to us and tell, tell us what's going on? Hi, I'm Kelly and Carvalho. Yeah, I'm Ryan Carvalho. And, uh, Luis Carvalho. Great, great. Uh, obviously, you're moving today. I'm moving. The whole thing. The whole thing. So this is redefining uh, mobile homes, I guess. I mean, you're just coming right. Can you tell me where it came from and sort of the route? Is it about a mile or so? Or? It's less than about. It's about a half a mile. It came from uh, Oceanside, 20 Oceanside. Um, a couple from Beverly bought it, and they were going to tear it down and uh, build that new home. And uh, I found the opportunity to get the house, and uh, they gave us the house, and we're relocating it here on uh, 146 Rare Hill Street, which is an old building that burnt down uh, about five years ago. And uh, we're going to be uh, setting the house on the site and uh, making a residence out of it. Wow, this is great. Are you originally from Beverly or have you moved to this town recently? I'm originally from Beverly. You wow. are, okay. Yeah. And, and you, sir? From Saugus. Oh, Saugus. Oh, you're still pretty local. Okay, so, so you bought this property that did not have a house on it or you had to tear that one down? Uh, no, there was a foundation. It burnt down. Oh. So it, was, it had been a garage previously. So we... Uh, we purchased it and trying to make the use of recycle the house, which is great. It's better than tearing them down. And Absolutely. In fact, I mean, how did you find out about this house? Did you drive by one day or did you find it in a listing? Actually, it was uh, her father. Uh, is a general contractor in town, Frank Raffa. He's the one building the new house for the client. And um, when we went to go look for the demolition part, I said, well, that's a good looking house. Why are we tearing it down? So then we started looking around for property and that's how it all evolved. Well, it looked like it worked out pretty well. And this is your only family, right? There's no other children. It's uh, we have a little girl. You do, another a little girl. Okay, and she's home dreaming about the oh, home, obviously. Yeah, um, she's at school. Please tell her. Oh, okay. Well, you, you couldn't have gotten a better day for this sort of movie. It's been raining all week, and you guys probably went through all kinds of nightmares thinking, oh, it's going to rain and not, and it cleared up. Yeah, rain dates, um, they, we only had allowed one rain date. After that, it would take us another three months to reschedule everything. So it had to go today. We got lucky. Um, you know, the city of Beverly has been great. The building department, everybody in all the departments helping us. Uh, forestry, the police, everybody. It's just been perfect. Yeah. So, so you, did, you did all the legwork. In other words, you made the arrangements to do the move and the expense of that and, and had to clear it with the town. Really nothing on the other uh, side of it, like the the past owners, right? That's correct. He just gave us a bill of sale for a dollar and said, it's your house. Really? That was it. Wow, you can't get better than that. <laughs> and so it's just the expense of moving and, of course, situating it on your... Do you have to build a foundation, a new foundation? Yeah, we're, um, you know, we get foundation plans. We're putting a full basement in it. We're doing landscaping, the yard. Um, so, yeah, this is quite a bit of expense additional to, but uh, it's still cheaper um, than building the house from ground up, and it's back to recycling, and it's good for the good for the environment. Absolutely, uh, you know this this is really this is Beverly on the move. I think we'll entitle this show Beverly on the move. So we thank you very much for joining us here, and uh, good luck to you both. All right, thank you.